Do you have trouble getting into your lifted Jeep Wrangler? These might work great for rock rails, but they're no step. Today we're going to be swapping these out and we're going to show you a good step that's affordable and I think might hold up for a little bit of time while I beat them up on the rocks. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking for a budget-friendly sidestep or what I'm planning to do on my Jeep. Now, after I installed the three and a half inch lift with the 37s, the Jeep got a lot taller and I gotta say, it became a lot more cumbersome to get in and out of here. Not just for me, but for the passengers. We're not gonna show you how to remove the rock rails. These come off super easy, but I'm gonna kind of talk about why I chose the steps that I did and then also why this is a great budget-friendly temporary solution to my long-term goals. Now, on any Rubicon or just about any Jeep, they will come with these Rubicon rails with the factory plastic steps or if you get a willies or a sport there's actually nothing there so if you guys are in that situation and you're looking for something that doesn't break the budget looks pretty decent in my opinion and also is going to provide you a sturdy step for you and your passengers i think today's video is going to be a great help for you and you know a lot of guys have been asking why aren't you going with the full power steps why aren't you going with this or that well, I'll be honest with you, we've got a lot of money wrapped up into this Jeep right now, and for the time being, I think this is a budget-friendly way for me to do it until we figure out what the goal is long-term. Heck, who knows me, we might keep these, salvage them, and even create those custom rock rails because I have seen a lot of guys that use these, sand them down a little bit, and then weld on the DOM tubing and get a full dimple-dyed rail onto these, which I think looks really neat. But we have a lot of plans coming in the future. This just solves a problem for me now, and that's getting in and out of the car seat having the family get in and out and I think you guys are gonna like the solution that we picked so here are the steps that I've chosen these are the NFAB RS steps and they're available on Amazon now the reason I like these was for a few reasons the biggest one is the price these were just under 300 bucks and I couldn't find a side step that was around that price point that wasn't from kind of a US name manufacturer now I know these are more than likely made in China but a lot of the eBay ones seem to rust out really quickly. And I'll be honest with you, I'm just not too happy with the design. So these NFAB do come in this light texture that honestly very well matches the factory Rubicon sliders. And then the thing that I liked is that they weren't just complete drop down steps. They actually had the two individual hoops with these dimple dyed platforms for you easily to be able to step onto it. These aren't my favorite steps. I'll be honest with you guys. I think they look really nice, but my favorites would probably be like a set of rock slide engineering. But let's be honest with you, $2,200 is a lot of coin to drop instantly on a set of steps. And if I'm just gonna beat these up and hit them with my boots every day, I figured I might as well get a set like this, try them out for a little while and see how I like them. Now, if I don't like them, I know my dad will take them on his Jeep and perfectly put them on and have no problem with them. But honestly, I'm very happy with the look of them and the style. So I did pick these up on Amazon, $2.99 or something like that. They mount on the back here with these three brackets and they have specific brackets for either the JL or the Gladiator and they easily bolt right on. I put the passenger side on a while just to try it out and make sure that we do it correct on camera but these very easily install without any further ado let's clap these on all right guys so the first thing that you're going to want to do you're going to flip this upside down and we do have some brackets to pre-install now these come with carriage bolts and then just some flanged nuts that come on the other side and they do have the coarse kind of edge here so they'll dig right in you're going to take this carriage bolt and go through the inside of the tube and then just snug the nut up on the other side. The nice thing about these, since they're not lock nuts, is that you can actually do it by hand. So we're just gonna snug these up, and the reason being is this gives us the adjustment with these to exactly fit the style and kind of day your Jeep was built. So these two are gonna go on the pinch seam right here, and then this one is gonna go with the bolt underneath that threads into the tub. And the reason we leave this loose is so that way we have some adjustment. At the end, we will come back and final tighten these and adjust the tube exactly where we want them to. But for now, it's good just nice and loose like that. Let's put the other two on. And these are gonna be 14 millimeter on just these nuts here. So we use a 14, these use a 13, and then it's a 13. And I use the factory body side bolt if you have a Rubicon rock rails because the, the washer on is a little bit large and I felt it was a little bit more secure. But 14, 13s, that's all you're gonna need for this whole thing. Now I know a lot of people, well actually in this community and this channel probably not, but some folks would say, hey, putting these on, you're just gonna beat the hell out of them. They're not gonna last, they're not gonna hold up. Well, I've put a lot of these through a pretty good amount of ringers. And if I completely destroy the bottom of these, I'll say that it was 300 bucks and I'll chalk it up to that. So I will say something, these tubes hanging down are probably gonna catch on rocks if I'm really out there and really smashing into them. But we'll have to see when that day comes. So I will say that these are gonna work well for now and they're really gonna solve a problem for me. I'm not that tall of a guy and I know a lot of my family members getting in and out 
they're older. So helping them in and out is more important to me than catching this on a rock if I'm out on a trail. And plus we'll see how long it lasts. So like I said, I am not opposed to pulling these back out. And if you guys have other suggestions for steps, make sure to drop those in the comments. We love to read all of that comment back and just talk with you guys. So drop a comment below on what steps you have or why you don't have any. So after approximately two minutes, these are free and clear and we can set them aside. I'm just gonna give this also guys, just a quick clean before I mount this. I know it's the middle of winter here and you can see this is just for me driving in the rain, all the salt on here. So I'm just gonna, while I have it exposed, give it a good cleaning so that way I'm not having, you know, anything on a dirty surface and scratching it even worse under there. And you can see just how dirty this is, my gosh. All right, so we've got it cleaned up. We've got the brackets on here. And if you've got a friend that isn't using a camera while you're doing this, uh, might be a good time to ask for their help. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the flange bolts and the nuts. There's six of them. Use the ones without the washers for out here. And we're gonna get pushed these through from the outside in. And I'm gonna start with the middle and I'm gonna see if I can get this done by myself because I'm an independent man. Right, Ryan? Without scratching the living hell out of my Jeep. I'm just gonna get those snug by hand. Get the back one mounted up. I give this install a 10 out of 10 on the hard scale. I know what you guys are thinking. What an idiot, what a loser. Side steps. <sighs> Amatois. All right, so all those are on. And as you can see here, that we didn't tighten these, so you see how they can slide. That gives you the adjustment to pick them up as high as we can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the 13 socket and a 13 box wrench to get these tightened. I'm first going to start the underside factory bolts that I just had, which are these. Those come if you have the Rubicon rock rails. If not, the kit includes them too. These just have a bigger washer, so I'm going to use them. Those go up underneath into the body. So I'm going to start these and tighten these after I tighten the pinch bolt. Now you're gonna get a little intimate with your Jeep and go under the underside. And so on these, you have the adjustment. You can lower them or raise them as much as you want. So I personally want them as high as possible just to avoid any sort of issues with clearance rubbing or at least avoid it as much as possible. So the other thing I learned from the other side is drop the bolt so that way you have to twist all around and herniate your back but remove the lower bolt, the lower carriage bolt to tighten the top one, give it a push like that. So give it a push, make sure that the lower carriage bolt will still fit in there, but then you'll be able to tighten up the nut. And this is gonna be a 14 millimeter. And it's kind of tricky to get to. I just wanted to verify that that would still tighten. And also I'm very much avoiding smashing the sh out of my knuckles under here. So we did all the way at the rear and then I wanna do all the way at the front. So we can do all the way at the front and then the middle we will not need to adjust at all. But watch this as I push this up. So you see that and you almost heard the clunk. So that will be able to get pushed up a little bit. And we are gonna remove the lower carriage bolt just so we can tighten up the top one. All right, so we've got that one done. Last step is just do the middle here. All right, guys, moment of truth. We're down here at the lake. We came down here to get some better shots of them, but they look good. Honestly, I'm very happy with them. Let's see how they do. I'm just gonna stand on this one and rip my mirror off, but. Nice and sturdy. They don't move much. Let's try the rear one out. This will actually help me too up here with the hard top if I ever put like a rack or even doing the soft top when we swap those out. They're sturdy though. I gotta say, I'm very happy with the fact that they're so sturdy. I was kind of cautious the way that the brackets mounted up, but they are some heavy duty hardware. So I imagine that they're gonna last a very long time, especially with how sturdy they are. I do like, like I said, I like the way they look. I think they're gonna serve a great function. Even just flipping the soft top back, putting the brackets on, just doing things up and above. This will be very easy. And then already it was a sigh of relief climbing into the Jeep and how much easier these have made it. So here you go, check them out, see how they look and see if they're a right fit for your build.
Well guys, that's a wrap on this installation. I gotta tell you, it's probably about 30 degrees out. It is too cold and we are just about done. We're gonna go inside and grab probably a nice warm cup of coffee instead of my normal iced cup of coffee. But we still do have the swag. We got the Dirt Road Cred merch available on the website. Thank you guys for all of the orders. We've been shipping them out almost every day. So thankful for you guys ordering this and supporting the channel. Now, if you guys wanna check out these NFAB side steps, we're gonna leave a link down in the description. The cheapest place I found them was Amazon. And honestly, with prime shipping and all the benefits of that, and easy returns and such that's where i would get them from and that's where i bought these from too so definitely check those out if you are interested in these and let me know in the comments what you guys think if you've got any other brands that you would recommend or things that you think i should consider in the future let me know down in the comments until next time though my name is matt with dirt road cred and i want you to get out there and earn yours